something that 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 we can do to help you do you think the the contract is doable yeah can we try it tomorrow thursday and friday okay sounds good so he agrees okay yeah okay so um okay so let's go ahead and continue thank you guys okay thank you so that uh, we we discussed about his uh behavior so far in um, different classes now let's move on to the uh needs which is the goal so you'll be able to see okay. it mom right yes okay so let's talk about the language art so this was his iep goal last year on middle school and it says basic essay writing so given three grade level informational texts on a topic Edgar will write an organized essay with the use of a template that includes an introductory paragraph, three body paragraphs, each containing facts and details that supports topics and concluding paragraphs in two to four trials. Okay, so this one, uh, he's progressing towards that one. He did not uh, call this uh, reach that goal yet. So. In order for him to uh, to continue working on that one, so I rewrote a, a not exactly different, but it's similar to that goal. So by the end of uh, 1116, when given writing exercises, for example, an essay about the most influential person in his life, Edgar will be able to write an introduction composed of two to three sentences three paragraphs with supporting details and evidences and closing statements or conclusion with two to three sentences with 80% accuracy in four out of five essay writing exercises. So in his literature one, two, this is what they're working on now. So it's not yet on the uh, three paragraph, but it's progressing towards to that one. And that's the reason why his uh, new goal is about essay writing. So okay. it will continue up to when he turns uh, 10th grade. So he's going to do a lot of uh, writing. So this one will help him to compose and also the teacher will help him out to do this, to achieve this goal. Okay. Do you have any question on that one? No, that seems pretty doable. Okay, so now on the reading part. So last year, he, do he, does he, he wasn't have a... It was not stated about the, the reading uh, goal for him. It just only like writing. And I was really surprised when I look at his previous IEP, there's no reading uh, goal. So because of that, so I uh, created a new goal for him. So by the end of 11 16, 2022, when given an independent level informational text, Edgar will correctly answer five two-part questions that require students to determine the meaning implied, literal or technical of teacher selected words or phrases <clears throat> uh, from the text and cite supporting evidences for each question with 80% accuracy and four out of five question correctly as measured by teacher. So meaning that when a teacher give him something like a reading material such as how to uh, electric uh, power uh, make or how it uh, produce, how is the water produce uh, electric power? So that is kind of like an informational text uh, reading material. So is he be able to uh, list down the information step by step? What is the first step and what is, uh, you know, the main uh, um, function of water or things like that? So it's very basic, but you know, it's very important that he needs to know the, the, the details of that informational text. So that is only an example. Okay. Yeah. Have any question on that one? No, honey. Okay. So on the math, his uh, math goal last uh, year, it says it's a, about Pythagorean theorem. So given a Pythagorean theorem word problems, Edgar will identify value size A, B, C, draw a label diagram, and then write and evaluate an algebraic expression with correctly stated solution in four out of five trials. This type of goals, 
it is a for me it's a very high tie level type of goal and in in our class in our first semester we did not discuss this either yet what we uh, uh we have done is all about integers and also s solving simple equations so this one is not really applicable at this uh this uh, semester and therefore okay. he you know he showed some of uh progress on that one let's say what is the algebraic expression are uh, you be able to evaluate algebraic expression definitely he's able to do that but when we're talking about top pythagorean theorem we, we're not there yet we don't do that at this semester so therefore mm -hmm. i uh, made this new goal it's more doable at the same time that's what we're doing in the class so by the end of mm -hmm. 11 16 when given five problems involving one to two variables one to multi-steps linear equation let's say for example x plus three is equals to five and edgars knows that we've been doing this for so many weeks now he be able to identify uh, call this uh, uh one to two variables one to multi-step inequalities which is after uh, equation that's where we're going to move on inequalities in which all the numbers are positive integers as i've said we 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 already uh uh, done the integers so in less than 10 Edgar will be using problem solving checklist will solve the problems correctly in four out of five problems with 80 percent accuracy in two consecutive problem sets so basically this type of goal is very doable because that's what we're working on in algebra pre-algebra class and hopefully by the end of the school year he be able to meet this goal Okay. Yeah. Any question on that one? No. Okay. So the last goal, last year he doesn't have the transition goal. So since he's ninth grader, he really needs this one because he's going to use this in all of his classes, not only in ninth grade, but also when he, you know, eventually goes to college. So his uh, mm -hmm. goal for this uh, year on the transition, what we call is personal responsibility. By the end of 11, 16, 2022, when given instruction and organizational structure strategies, Edgar will be able to organize and submit the required warm up, classwork, quizzes, tests, or projects based on the given due dates with 80% accuracy in four out of five opportunities. So basically, he needs to learn an organizational skills. When the teacher gives him a uh, work, and there's a due date, he'll be able to maximize his time and submit the work on time. Yes. So it's just kind of like putting all together the work that he needs to do. At this time, he doesn't have that skills yet. Okay. So he needs to work on this one and it's pretty much ongoing, not only for algebra, pre-algebra yeah. class, but also in English, P, name it. Yeah. So that's the goal that, uh, that we're hoping that he'll be able to uh, to master. Okay. Yeah. Is there any okay. other question in uh, regards to the goals? No, I'm hoping we can <laughs> we can meet some of those goals for sure this year. I'm pretty sure as long as he will uh, stay focused and, you know, be more motivated. Yes. Yeah. And in terms of testing, uh, Edgar will be participating in uh, the district, such as math assessment, ELA ta uh, performance task writing 2 to 11, ELA unit assessment 3 to 11, iReady, as a matter of fact, he already took uh, first part of the iReady last, I think, two weeks ago uh, in math. I'm not so sure if he already took uh, language art. But there are three parts of that test, and I think by January or uh, yeah, by January you're going to take the the second uh, second uh, test for the I ready for math. Okay. ELA unit dictation assessment as well, and all all the assessment here, he will be given an accommodations uh, such as extended time, frequent breaks, flexible scheduling simplifying language in directions read aloud direction and uh, 
questions, restate direction and equi uh, questions, pair visual and verbal, uh, verbal instructions, check for understanding, dictation or written responses to instruction, small group instruction, break up task in a reasonable chunk, prompts to stay on task, prompt to run, uh, turn in work, calculator will be provided as well, can uh, retake tests for the passing score within the grading window. So those are the accommodation that will be uh, given and he's entitled for that one because he has an IEP document and he is in special at the day class. And then when it comes to uh, other assessment uh, uh, given by, uh, by the district, he will be participating in the PSAT, ELA uh, Perform Task Writing, Math Unit Assessment, ELA Form Task uh, Writing, and it's the same uh, accommodation will be uh, given for Edgar. Okay. And then for the statewide assessment, he'll be participating on CAA, which is a standard uh, with accommodation. Again, it's the same accommodation will be uh, given to him. The uh, SBAC or CAST, so he's still going to be participating on that one. Okay. And uh, uh, again, uh, Edgar would benefit from frequent breaks, verbal prompting, modeling correction sentences, access to a multiplication table for math, preferential seating, extended time to complete assignment, frequent check uh, of understanding, and flexible seating. Those are the type of accommodation which is taking the test so that, you know, mm -hmm. he'll be able to uh, complete the test on his uh, on uh, terms at the same time he'd be more uh, comfortable doing it not being pressured because you know there's a time pressure no because of the accommodation he'd be able to perform hopefully better yes in terms of the program he is going to participate in general education uh, activities lunch recess passing periods school day activities elective core content, physical education, academic subject uh, as a, appropriate. So those are uh, kind of uh, general education students uh, uh, doing while they're in school. So he'd be able to uh, uh, experience that as well. Okay. And then in terms of the options, because he's a student, he, you know, he is eligible to attend general education uh, general education with RSP and also special day class but based on the assessment at the same time the teachers recommendation and the IEP team recommendation we've seen that he progressed a lot and at the same time he will reach his maximum uh, potential if he is placed on a special day class because when we're delivering the lesson, we uh, always uh, look at the accommodation for the students in order for him to be more successful. Unlike when he's placed in the general ed, it's for more of kind of like independent. So it, there's no okay. such thing as, okay, we're going to give you extended time. We're going to provide you step by step. Okay, if you're not be able to finish the 10 problem, you can uh, do the, the first two problem and then you're going to continue it the next day. That is not okay. happening in general ed setting, only in, gener in, in special day class, because that's how we support our students' educational needs. Okay. okay. So, uh, in terms of uh, program and services, it's starting today, 11-17-2021 uh, up to 11-16-2022. He's going to continue receiving a special day class. Uh, uh, four times a day uh, for 87 minutes, which means that he is in the class per period for one hour and 45 minutes. So that is uh, for the whole school year. And also for the transition, this is the time when if the uh, transition uh, specialists come in the class, they interview each student, then they will provide him a 30 minutes to, to have a meeting with the career transition specialist, maybe to help him out. What is your goal? What is your career goal after high school? Or do you know how to uh, 
uh, make your career uh, portfolio. So that is the time the, uh, the career transition specialist comes in and he has at least 30 minutes per month for that. Okay. And then he does not uh, have any transportation because uh, he's able to, uh, uh, have, to have his own transportation. And based on the record right now, the team is highly recommending him to attend the ESY. What is the ESY? It is an extended school year, meaning summer school. And during summer school, the students come to uh, school from 7.30 or 7.40 a.m. up to 1 o'clock uh, p.m. to attend two classes. Uh, that is either math, English, or P, or uh, whatever classes that he really needs in order for him to complete his credits so that he can graduate on time. So that summer okay. school, you will receive a notice on that one, hopefully by February next year, if he's uh, really uh, going to attend for summer school. But as a IEP team, we recommend him to attend that one. So the I, the, uh, excuse me, hold on. Mr. Lobidi says. So for Hi. summer school, um, he can only take 10 uh, credits. I'm sorry. Just two okay. classes. So, so if, let's say if he fails yeah. um, six classes, yeah. he can yeah. only make up Yeah, two, you can. You can okay? add two. So that yeah. Yeah. If you want to. So we have to be on him. So hopefully the. the oh, this is about uh, the speech. And yeah. Can be, uh, this is about the speech. And um, also second semester, you know, we're going to continue that right away. Right. Okay, until right. the okay. end, until the year ends, if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah, we, um, I'm hoping. We haven't done that before, so mm. maybe that would help. And also, uh, the uh, as I have mentioned, we're recommending him to attend the ESY. So the ESY usually start on uh, June 27 and then ended on uh, July 29. And okay. he, he'll be here for two and a half hours for the first uh, period and then another two and a half hours for the second period. So okay. it, 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 uh, it lasted for five weeks. Okay. Yeah, so after he finished uh, taking two subjects, he'll be earning uh, five credits for the first one and another five credits for the second one. So altogether, he earns 10 credits. Yes. Yeah. So, in terms of LRE, Least Restrictive Environment, he is attending uh, less than 40% in general ed classes, meaning he's attending uh, one classes and majority of his classes in special day class to support him at the same time to uh, reach his ma maximum potential in, uh, in terms of educational needs. So, I think he's attending one of uh, general ed, which is the PE class. Okay. Is uh, there any other question or concerns that you have? Uh, no, not at the moment. Everything seems pretty clear. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, get back me to uh, Miss uh, Coco. Could you please explain about the credits? And at the same time, he's, uh, you know, this time I uh, put him in the diploma track. And hopefully he'll be able to uh, earn that. Would you please explain that, Miss uh, this sure okay so for a uh, diploma um, Edgar, um, for a diploma you have to earn 220 credits okay what does that mean you have to uh, get one year of art or a year of a world language okay four years of English 9 10 11 and 12 three years of history 10 11 and 12 two years of science uh, you have to get uh, two years of PE and six credits and six classes or 60 credits of PE, total of 220. That's for the diploma. The certificate route is um, a certificate of completion that the student has to earn 220 credits and whatever the IEP says. But right now, just looking at his IEP, he is capable. He is capable of earning a diploma. So that's why Mr. Uh, Lopadisa said that we're going to go ahead and check off diploma track. So uh, right now, uh, just my, uh, our concern is just uh, working on those uh, misassignments. So hopefully the grades can go up. 
Uh, and then uh, at the end, so right now, if this was the end of the semester, we would have two fails in first semester. So that means that he will have to go to summer school and uh, take care of those 10 credits. But what if instead of only two classes, he has six classes, then he's yeah. going to be deficient. And, and, and not only that, there's no space for him to take the classes next year because next year I'm, I'm going to have like his English classes, math classes, history classes, science class. So there's no space to take what he failed ninth grade. So I'm, you know, so we're encouraging the students and the parents to work together. So hopefully this week that he's off, he can make up all that assignment. Okay, Edgar? Mm -hmm. So if you work it with your mom and just, and you know what, mom, you can ask him, you know what, show me your grades right now. And he can go on Canvas or and show you his grades. So, so he's able to do that. Okay. Okay, and then you can also email his teachers. So you can be in constant communication with okay. all of them. Okay. Okay. Edgar, do you want to say anything? No. No? Okay. Are you sure, Edgar, you don't want to say anything? Or do you want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> well, your mom knows already, but... <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, is there any other uh, question or concern, mom? Um... You know, I'm I'm just, I'm gonna work with him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on working with him. I really want him to graduate, so um, I'm I'm really gonna put my all into working with him at home as much as I can with these missed assignments, and hopefully that will motivate him a little more to continue to to work in school. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, Mr. Lopedesis, if you can email me mom's email. Yeah. So I can uh, distribute that to all of the teachers so sure. we can be in um, constant communication. Definitely, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Well, let me uh, read the last statement right here. So parents have no issues or concern regarding Edgar's current academic status other than we're uh, recommending him for the ESY. He attends all of his classes on a regular basis. But I would like to see... No. Uh, yes. No, not on a regular basis. Uh, his attendance. I think I sent you a copy of his attendance. Uh, let me go back. Oh, irregular, just... irregular. Yeah, irregular yeah, basis. Yeah, because mom, uh, I don't know if you're aware that uh, he has missed uh, six times in first period. Uh, 13 times thir third period. 13 times fourth period, four times fifth, 13 times six, 14 times seven, and 13 times eight. So total, he has been out 76 class times out. So is that I when- I did not know that. Is that Miss uh, Coco, when did he uh, come to, to class, uh, uh, school? I think it's so, so October. Uh, so my- I'm gonna go ahead and print out the attendance and give it to Edgar. And uh, and where it says UNV, that means that it's he's unverified, means that he did he does not have an excuse why he was absent. So we're treating that as if he ditched. Mm -hmm. So um, he yeah. has a, he has a lot of full days. He has a lot of full days. So if you can look at that. And if for any reason he uh, he went to the doctor, he was yeah. out sick, you just have to send a note to the attendance office, yeah. okay? Yeah, no, there's no reason other than his health issue in the yeah. first month of school that he was absent. Okay. Um, if it was a full day absence, then yes, he was home, but missing periods in between and being late, there's no reason for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll print out that, yeah. and then you can go over that with that. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, sounds good. Okay, mm -hmm. so the team recommends Edgar to attend ESY uh, to recoup from any regressions. Next year, Edgar will continue his 10th grade at uh, Poly High School in SDCMM setting. The offer of FAPE is an SDCMM setting and with ESY eligibility. 
Okay. Is there any okay. other question? So, Mom, I'm going no. to send you the uh, the signature page and also the uh, the draft of this IEP. And then uh, once you return the uh, signature page, then I'm going to send you back again the uh, the current IEP. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. Or I'm going to uh, scan the signature page and send it to you via email, and then you can, uh, you know, send it back to me, and then that way it will be easy and uh, faster. Is that possible? Okay. okay. Yes, that's possible. Okay. Is there any other question or concerns? No, not at the moment. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully you can... Uh, uh, speak to Edgar and hopefully change the whole thing in terms of uh, the motivational yeah. part. I'm going to try. Thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your feedback. It helps me out. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so awesome much. Here. Bye. Bye, son. Bye. Edgar, say bye to your mom. Mm. He's a little <laughs> sad. Yeah. It's a lot for him. It's a lot for him. <laughs> Cheer but we'll get through this. going to be fine. Yeah, we're going to work on it together. Yes. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 220.